John Wick chapter 3 Parabellum. There is famous knife throwing scene where John is throwing multiple knives at his opponents. Is technique like that possible in real life? And can it make some damage? We're gonna figure it out today. So, let's get started. First technique that is in the scene looks like a reverse backhand full spin. And in the combat scenario, that would be so impractical. Because as you know, for the full spin rotations, you usually need to know the setup distances from the target. So for example, from three meters, you can see it over rotated, have to be a little bit closer, and here it stick. So in the same case for the John, he was throwing basically like this, reverse, and it's so awkward. Look at that. Wow, this one was really lucky, but otherwise this technique, like I said, if I would do it, the, my enemy would close a little bit come closer and I would throw it like this I would only smack him with the knife and that would be also the same if I would go a little bit further from here so check it out you see I would definitely have to find a sweet spot for the reverse backhand full spin otherwise this technique wouldn't work at all so this first one for the combat really sucks In this scene, even bad guys throwing on the John Wick. And first throw that I have seen was like from this position. And I believe it was the military house pin. And guy actually hit it on the ground exactly between the legs of the John Wick. So let's see if we can do it within the three tries to land knife like this uh, horizontal. Ah! On the second try, look at that guys, exactly like in the movie, in the vertical position, pretty cool. And since the bad guy missed, John Wick was actually able to grab the knife and throw back at him. Technique was actually full spin with a hammer grip. If he would be on the sweet spot, this is actually possible. So let's try, over rotate it. Over rotated. So on the last throw, I actually had to put the index finger because from such a distance, the knife was over rotating. But with the index finger, I was able to slow down rotation. If I would have to do the classic full spin, I would have to be maybe a little bit closer. So I think from somewhere right here. So let's try. Over rotated, so let's spin. And there you go. Like I said, full spin rotations are for the combat totally so impractical. Because if I would be a little bit from here, again, knife will over rotate it. All right? In this case, John is against two opponents. One is on the ground and the second one is on his side. And from it seems that he used no spin technique so with one hand he finished the guy on the ground and with the left hand hit exactly the target on his side if he would actually use the no spin technique that for the combat would be super practical and really dangerous i will have to show you some tests on the meat but the technique right after is super impractical so basically John is holding two knives and he's like uh, falling on the ground for no reason because nobody kicked him and he used double side full spin throw and hit the guy with the both knives. But I can tell you this technique would be so impractical even in the practice, even training, you know, this is really like a trick shot. So totally useless. Let's see. Oh! Really, definitely not reliable in the combat. So to be honest guys, this technique actually took me at least 10 minutes. This is the least practical that we tried. Very horrible one. And now John is throwing with both hands and actually multiple knives from each hand. Is it possible to do it like that? 
Definitely with a no reload technique, when you stack the more knives like that. With three knives too, even more it's possible to stack in the hand, look at that. The thinner knives that you will have, the more you can put it into the hand. So for example, I have this HG Stinger in the eight millimeters. So in this case, it's pretty hefty. But if I have five knives like this, separate in the both hands, it's actually very possible. So John was throwing five nice combo and like this vertical, basically he's going. And this is very practical and you can stick it, no problem. This technique is especially for the closer distances, but it's mainly flashy technique because it takes a little bit to put them like this, stack it up and again follow up with other attack. We can try experiment a little bit after how long it would take me because you can see that in the scene John grab it super quick and he already have it prepared in his hand, you know, and that would be definitely really tough to set it up fast like that. And right after there is guy on the ground and like I said, John grab the three knives super quick, stack them up in not even a second and he's throwing three knives combo, no reload on the guy that's on the ground. But like I said, you need to stack up the knives like this. Otherwise your grip won't be comfortable and you're not gonna do it very consistent. So in this case, it's a little bit nonsense because you can see in the scene, John grabbed it and already had the grip in his hand. So I can try it right now real quick, let's see. You can see I'm not using my second hand. and hit my knife. But it would definitely be way longer than in the movie. But in this case, it's definitely possible to throw that is something on the ground and use no reload technique, no problem. But the grip need to be comfortable, like I said, stack them up. Otherwise, it's really easy, look at that. It would be definitely no problem to hit the target on the ground, only impossibility is that speed like he grab it and just have it in his hand. With no reload, that's highly unlikely. So in my opinion, in the movie were four practical techniques, house spin, full spin, no spin, and the no reload. Let's see what damage these techniques can make on the meat. Let's start first with the military house spin technique. So with the military house spin through the skin, through the meat, wow, huge penetration inside of the wood, as expected. And very nasty wound, look at that. Let's try now full spin rotation. So in this case, I put a lot of force and it really shows, look at that. Wow, very, very deep inside, also in the wood. And again, nasty wound, no spin. So now I was aiming to this thicker part and look at that. Wow, maybe even through the bone. Very nice penetration on the no spin throw. Ooh. And now the no reload. So big advantage of the no reload techniques, like I said, it's that you already have several knives in your hand. And as you can see, some people maybe think that this technique makes no damage that you are so close, but look at that absolutely devastating on all three throws. And another advantage would be that you can hit multiple opponents. Look at that. Wow. Very deep. And by the end of the scene, John Wick made perfect headshot with the X. 
But about that, we made already the video, so definitely check it out. Link is going to be right here on the Patreon scene. And if you want to support the channel, there's going to be a link for these HJ knives. But for today, that's it. So thank you, buddy, for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.